Hi everyone, it's Alexa J and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're in my kitchen and I'm gonna go over some products that I like to eat um, on my plant-based diet to make sure that I get enough protein and um, other like vitamins and minerals and also just like um, little alternatives um, to things um, to help me in my cooking. Um, so I'm gonna start with my plant-based um, milks. There's so many different ones out there nowadays. There's hemp milk, there's rice milk, coconut milk, oat milk, almond milk, soy milk, and um, ripple milk, which I'm getting ready to show you now. Normally, if I'm like cooking something that like needs like um, milk and I'm like supplementing that out of it, um, I will do almond milk um, or soy milk. Um, and obviously, I do like the unsweetened and the, um, the like original, like not the vanilla, like flavored ones. Um, but ripple milk is one of the milks that I really like, especially if I'm doing smoothies, which I normally do a lot of. It's an easy way to get a lot of protein. Um, it is pea protein, um, so it comes from peas, and um, yeah, this one's really, really, really good. This is the vanilla flavor, which is a little high in sugar. I try not to like buy um, sh milks and stuff that have like a lot of sugar from doing smoothies because you're already getting a lot of sugar from your um, like your fruits and stuff. But this one's really good, um, and it has eight, gro eight grams of protein, and also is loaded with like calcium and B12. So when people ask me, well, how do you get your calcium if you don't drink milk? there's ways. Moving on. So a protein powder I like is the Vega, which was recommended to me by my healthcare physician. Um, when I told them I was like vegan, they were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like, are you doing any like protein supplements or, um, do you do protein shakes or whatever? And they recommended this one to me. This is the vanilla one. It's really good. It does have cane sugar in it, but um, it only has six grams per serving, which isn't like too, too bad, but um, it does have a good flavor. It is a little chalky, but I think with most like protein powders, like you're good, it's going to be a little chalky, but um, it's really, really good and I like it. Um, they do have a chocolate one too. Um, I think they have another one, but I've only tried the vanilla so far and I like it. Um, I will also add in my smoothies to get my protein um, are hemp hearts. Uh, these are the de-shelled ones. Um, these are really, really good. These have 10 grams of protein and also have like your, um, omega three and omega sixes. Um, so these are really, really great. They are kind of earthy and like nutty, um, like in flavor, but they are really good. Um, I normally blend these up in my smoothies, but you can actually top these off on like soups or salads, um, and like all kinds of different stuff. So these are really, really good and they're a great way to get like protein. So this with like the milk and my smoothie, I'm already up to like close to like 30, like, grams of like protein, um, which is really, really good. Um, and I'm pretty petite and stuff and I don't weigh a lot. So like, I don't need like a ton, but, um, it does make sure that I get some protein eating nuts and stuff obviously are um, a good way, which I do like to eat nuts, but I'll just show really quick, um, a peanut butter that I like. Um, the once again brand is really, really good. I believe they also have, um, an almond butter one, um, which I, I, I do like almond butter as well, but I normally prefer, um, peanut butter. But if, you know, if you have a peanut allergy, um, they do have other alternatives or if you have vice versa, if you have a nut allergy, which actually has some friends that do. So, um, moving on, um, I love my carbs. <laughs> um, so the Dave's killer bread is really good with getting protein into their products. These are their bagels, which have, um, I believe it's 11. Yeah. Th these have 11 grams of protein and 13 grams of like the um, whole grains, which are also really good for you to have in your diet. But um, eating these um, for my breakfast also give me um, a little bit more um, protein in my daily diet. Um, so I really like these and I recommend them. Um, they are a little bit pricey, but um, they're definitely worth it. These are like, these are some really good bagels, probably some of the best I've had. Um, all right, so moving on. Um, for a great like butter alternative, um, I want to show you, most people I feel like probably know about this, but like coconut oil, um, so I do the, um, the extra virgin, um, organic one, um, but coconut oil is great. It's antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. I literally use this as body lotion. I take my makeup off with it, um, and I use it actually on my, my bagels and stuff, um. It's really, really good. I mean, if you don't like the flavor of coconut, you might not like this, but um, but it is another good um, alternative to using butter, which let me show you really quickly. I forgot to pull it out. But I do really like the Earth Balance butter. This is the original one. They have like a whipped one. Um, 
I think they have like an olive oil one too. Um, but this is a really, really, really good butter alternative. And also um, Miyoko's makes a really, really good one as well. So moving on, um, let me show you. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm sure most people are on the kombucha trend at this point. I love kombucha. This is one of my favorite brands, the Health Aid one. Um, I like the ginger lemon flavor. Uh, so this is a good way to get your probiotics. So I'll do a lot of these. Um, I do like yogurt and I don't have any on hand. I do have some um, dairy-free yogurt. Uh, the So Delicious brand has really, really, really good ones. They have like a coconut milk one that I prefer over the, um, like I think they have like a soy milk one, but I prefer the coconut milk one. But if I don't have like the yogurt, I'll do um, kombucha. Um, Plus these like are way like lower in sugar and stuff, but this is how I get a lot of my like probiotics. Um, or I'll do apple cider vinegar, um, like like a tablespoon of that and like um, an eight ounce glass of water and do that. And that's another way that I'll get like my natural probiotics as well. Um, the Better Than Bouillon, they do make a, um, a vegetable, um, like just like a plain vegetable one. So this is the brand that I really like if I'm doing like soups and stuff and I need to make like a stock. Um, if I'm not like making it by scratch, um, they also, I do believe that this brand, they do have, I believe a, um, a non chicken flavored one and a non beef flavored one, but I've only ever done this one. Um, most people are also pretty familiar with nutritional yeast, which has a lot of B12 in it. Um, and has a little bit of protein, a little bit of fiber. Um, I like nutritional yeast a lot. I think it's a really good flavor. It's kind of like almost cheesy and like nutty. Um, I'll put this sometimes like on top of spaghetti or whatever, but I used to eat this a lot, but, um, it's a good way to get, um, some vitamins and minerals really quickly. Um, or to get B12, I will also do the, man, um, uh, my kinds, my kind, my kind, sorry. Um, organic, I can't even, like, why is it like, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is like, so this is a B12 um, supplement, a little pricey, but you really don't have to use a whole lot. You just kind of spray this one under your tongue. Um, it does kind of taste a little bit like medicine. So, um, but there are other options of your B12 as I already showed. Um, and for honey, now I know a lot of people that eat a plant-based diet sometimes eat honey and I'm willing to admit that I still do. Um, so if you don't like that, whatever, like, you know, my opinion is my opinion. I'll eat what I want. Thank you. Um, you know, honey has a lot of, um, like really good anti-inflammatory properties and stuff. So I actually want to do a video on some of the, um, like natural remedy things that I do, um, to like keep healthy or like my little, um, you know, natural remedies that I do, um, on like a daily basis and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a video on that. Cause I think that'd be really cool. Cause people always ask me like, Oh, what do you do? Or like, how do you, you know, how do you keep your skin clear? Or like blah, blah, blah. Or like, what do you do to stay healthy? Or like, you don't really like to take medicine. So what do you do? Um, but anyway, um, stay tuned for that. Um, I want to show you this, um, be free honey. So it's not honey, honey. Um, this is made from apples. This is really, really good. It does kind of have a little bit of like an apple flavor, but it surprisingly tastes so much like honey. It's kind of incredible. Um, it's really, really, really good. I think I got this at Whole Foods, I believe. Um, but a lot of these items you can also find, um, online. Like I think brands like HelloFresh and stuff like that, um, are like really like good about having options for people that eat like plant-based or like that have any dietary issues. Um, and these are like some pretty, um, well-known brand. So, um, the last thing I'm going to show you really quick is just like a chocolate bar that I found that I really like. I really don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Pascha or Pasha. Um, but this, um, dark chocolate cacao bar is really, really good. And it's, um, it's vegan, dairy free. Um, so it's really, really, really good. Um, and I like it and it's kind of like, it's sweeter. Um, sometimes I like my chocolate sweet. I do like dark chocolate, but sometimes I get that sweet tooth and, um, I want it sweeter. But um, yeah, so that's all I have to show um, for right now. I hope that you really, really liked this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to actually link a video um, to this one, um, to my recent video, which was where I talked a little bit about my journey um, starting off um, eating plant-based and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I'll make sure to link that so that you can also find that video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And um, 
I will see you guys next time. Bye.